for him. That's what you want to avoid. Three passes, the pitch to hash, down and away, ball one. I think it's very important that he, uh, you know, throw strike one right here because, again, they may go in take mode here, uh, and they're not going to chase anything out of the zone. If he can get ahead, they'll be in that aggressive mode. Maybe you can get up to chase. Here's the wide end, the 1-0 from McInvale outside, 2-0. Wofford out of the Southern Conference. They're 16 and 14 overall, 1 and 5 in SoCon play. Out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. They have one of the smallest enrollments in all of Division I. The 2 0 pitch. Wide foul down over past the Ryan Field berm, and it's 2 and 1. 1,650 students is their enrollment. Who'd only uh, two smaller schools in D1 as of, as of last season. Wow, that's so, uh, incredible. Yeah, with a very small enrollment, they managed to be very competitive Absolutely. on the D1 level. You see them in the NCAA tournament on occasion in basketball. And uh, they've got a nice department with uh, with you know, a small student body to work from. So there's another pop foul, and the count evens two and two. And how many sports they have? I mean, is that like 10% of their, their uh, enrollment is uh, athletes? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have got a football team because they played Baylor at yeah, the, that's over right. the 2013 that's right. season. Wow. That's incredible. Here's the 2-2 pitch in the dirt. Did Hash go around? He did so. That's a strikeout brought to you by Twin Rivers Golf Club, Waco's finest public golf course. That's a big first out for Andrew McAvale here to start the second inning. You know, who I say it's a big out just in the sense that for McAvale right now, every time he can get an out, every time he can battle back from a first pitch up ball, yeah. that's big for him, for the no, young guy. No doubt. He got, a, he, got a, he got a hit of the hitter right there. He had him in a two-strike swing, and so he chased the ball out of the zone, which is exactly what you need. Here's the pitch to Cody Miller. Fastball banks the outside corner for his strike. It's 0-1. Good job. Miller, a home run, 13 RBIs, a 282 batting average. If you look at the five hitters he's faced, the ones he's got ahead of, he's gotten out, and he's gotten out. So. Here's the 0-1. Pop foul out of play, and it's quickly 0-2. It's a good sign because he's got good ammunition. You know, if he can get ahead and get that hitter on the defense, you know, He's going to have to chase some balls out of the zone. He doesn't have to throw a strike because they'll chase it because uh, he's got good stuff. Yeah, we saw him hitting 93, 94 miles an hour in yeah. some outings this year. Breaking ball catches the inside corner. Strike three call. Another strikeout brought to you by Tint Wind Rivers Golf Club. It goes fine as public golf course, and there's two down. And this is a great start for the second inning from McInvale. Yeah, it's a good job right there. You can just see his walk around the mound walking with a little confidence now, you know, a little good body language going on, which is good, and that gives him confidence. And see if he can't finish this last out here in this inning and get off the field and get the Bears back in the batter's box. Here's the DH, Dylan May, which is up high for McAvale, and it's 1-0. May yesterday, two hits in four trips. A 261 batter. There's six Texas products. The 1 0 pitch grounded past the diving Stephen McLean and on into left field for a hit. First to the game for Wofford. Stop it. And there's a runner aboard with it. two outs.